Please can you summarise your trading update? We put out a trading update to the market um, to talk about our half year performance to 30th of June this year. Um, we expect to do 85 million of revenue at least um, in the first half of the year, um, which will represent a record first half for IQE. Uh, this will return us to operating profitability and we also expect to be net cash positive. And what were the key drivers for the strong year-on-year -year growth in the wireless segment? We've seen strong year-on-year -year growth in our wireless segment, really for three key reasons. Um, firstly, our big US chip customer with whom revenues fell last year. Um, we've seen a resurgence in demand from them. They've had some key design wins both in the US and in China. Um, secondly, we've been diversifying our customer base in the wireless power amplifier market um, following the changes in global markets last year. And this has seen us now go into production on four tools with five tools qualified for a large Taiwanese foundry. And the third thing is that we're seeing um, now really picking up the pace in terms of 5G infrastructure deployment. So that's good news for us in terms of GAN on silicon carbide. Uh, but also on our PHEMT products that we sell from Singapore. And what market conditions are you seeing in the photonics segment? In photonics too, we're seeing strength, uh, really consistent production in the 3D sensing Vixel supply chain. Um, there we've had five tools in Newport in really constant operation since the beginning of the year, highlighting some maturing of that supply chain, which is great. Uh, but we're also seeing strengthening demand from other places too. So, for example, the U US military market, uh, where we sell lasers into that market as well, that the demand there has been strong so far this year. Uh, but also some green shoots in Indian phosphide, um, another area that we had some challenges in last year. We're now seeing big demand for that in the Asian market in particular, where we have a relatively low market share but the opportunity to take share over the coming 12 to 24 months. And do you think that inventory building is a significant factor in either of those sectors? We see some degree of inventory building within supply chains. Um, really, that's at sensible levels, I think, given the heightened risk of disruption during a pandemic. Um, nothing beyond sensible levels, though, and the majority of the demand that we're seeing, we think, is uh, real-time demand. And what impact could a global recession caused by the coronavirus pandemic have on IQE? The full economic impacts of the pandemic are obviously still to be felt. Um, and there is a high degree of uncertainty about how that will, will play out. Um, a lot will depend on um, how countries around the world respond to um, any renewed outbreaks of the virus. Um, but also it's quite difficult to predict um, how the recession will affect our markets in particular. Um, we think that the handset market would be affected by a reduction in consumer spending. However, it's also possible that that market may stand up better than some, um, given social distancing and self-isolation that means we're more dependent than ever before on our mobile devices. Um, IQE is also exposed to other markets that we think will be fairly resilient during a recession. For example, the, the US military market that I've mentioned today, and also the 5G infrastructure market. We do expect that governments around the world will use 5G infrastructure deployments as part of their stimulus packages as they emerge from the crisis. So overall, we would expect that IQE will be relatively resilient to a global recession.